The recent ChatGPT and Gemini updates will change learning Python in 2025. Now these chatbots can do a lot more than just generating code. Now they can see your screen and provide real-time assistance 24-7. You can also run Python code inside ChatGPT and do more. These new features are game-changing for anyone learning Python. And that's not all. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a third tool that is changing not only how we learn Python or learning to code, but how we learn any subject. All right, let's start with an AI tool that has been overlooked by many, but I will definitely deduce if I had to learn Python again. This is Gemini 2.0. This is Google AI's tool, and what I love about it is its screen sharing feature. This feature allows us to share our screen with Gemini, so it can see everything that is on our screen and provide assistance. And what we can do as programmers is to show the screen when we're working on our code editor and we can get some guidance and get our problem solved. If you're learning Python, you can turn Gemini 2 into your code tutor. To do this, you only need a free Google account and go to aistudio.google.com. Click on Stream Real Time on the left panel and select Share Screen. After that, Gemini will see your screen and you can have a conversation with it in real time. You can open your code editor and start writing code and ask for guidance to Gemini whenever you need it. For example, in this video, I ask Gemini for help to create a script that generates 10 random numbers. Say yes if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see your screen. All right, I ran this script and I got 10 random numbers, but it's the same random number. So what should I do? The code you've shown generates a single random number and prints it multiple times. To get a different random number on each iteration, you should move the random number generation inside the loop. Do you want me to show you the updated code? This is like having an AI tutor that can see your screen 24-7 and provide assistance in real time. As a beginner, you can use this tool to solve some coding problems, to learn some terminal commands. You can also use it to set up your coding environment or to set up your code editor. Now let's continue with the ChatGPT feature that I'll use if I were learning Python again. This feature will be useful for those new to coding that might have some problems installing Python on their computer or setting up their coding environment on their machine. And this feature is ChatGPT Canvas. And what ChatGPT Canvas now can do is run Python code inside ChatGPT. So you can escape those, uh, those moments where you have problems installing Python or setting, or setting up your coding environment. And you can now focus on testing your code inside ChatGPT. To start working with ChatGPT Canvas, you can just start by asking ChatGPT to write a simple hello world, and then click on view tools and select Canvas. Once you press enter, you'll see a panel on the right, and that's your Python environment where you can test your Python code. Whenever you want to run the code, just click on run, and the results will be printed on that console below. You can modify your code or ask ChatGPT for assistance. And when you're done, you can click on run again to see the results. You can also import Python libraries using ChatGPT Canvas. In this example, Canvas imports Matplotlib and NumPy to the task common in data analysis, which is plotting visualizations. You can import many other libraries, but remember that there is a limited number of libraries available. But with Canvas, you can do more than just running Python code. There is a a button located in the bottom right corner that has many options that can be very useful for software engineers and developers. If you click on this button, you can add comments to your code and undo changes, clicking on this previous version button. You can select some code and ask questions focused on that section. You can also review your code, fix bugs, add logs, and port to a language, which comes in handy if you know or are learning another programming language. Okay, before we move on to the next tool, I want to tell you about a course that will help you learn Python with the help of AI. Interactive learning is very important when learning Python. And that's why I recommend you the hands-on learning experience from Datacamp. The Datacamp platform is very interactive, mixing short videos and hands-on exercises, allowing you to code and learn Python with AI directly within their platform. Datacamp is sponsoring this video, and I'm very excited to tell you about their 
Python Fundamentals Learning Track. The program not only teaches you all the skills you need to be proficient in Python, but also includes a certification program that you can attempt to be recognized as a certified Python practitioner. With DataCamp, you can learn Python with assistance of AI and then attempt to get certified as a Python Data Associate to prove your skills to recruiters and employers. In case you have some experience in Python and want to broaden your expertise in AI, I also recommend you to take that Developing LMs with Python track. In this course, you'll learn deep learning with PyTorch and how to develop large language models using Python. I'll leave the link to the courses in the description of this video. Thanks to DataCamp for sponsoring this video and now let's continue with the next AI tool. Alright, the next AI tool that I'm about to show you is changing not only the way we learn to code, but it's changing the way we learn any subject. And this is Notebook LM. This is an AI tool developed by Google that can work as our AI research and assistant. And what it does is that it can analyze some documents, for example, PDFs, slides, or any for example, YouTube link that we give it, and it will analyze it, and we can start a conversation with these files. I will use Notebook LM to better understand the Python tutorials or guides that I'm following, and even go beyond that by asking some extra questions. Here's how you can use Notebook LM. You have to go to notebooklm.google.com and then provide a link to a YouTube tutorial, Python guide, or book. After you upload your file, Notebook LM will analyze its content. And when it's done, we can start a chat with it. For example, here I give Notebook LM a link to my YouTube tutorial on how to send emails with Python. When it analyzes my video's transcript, I can ask questions like what libraries I use in the videos or what I should keep into account before writing the script to send emails with Python, which by the way, it has to do with Google's two-step verification system. If I want to go beyond the tutorial, I can generate a podcast from that document I uploaded, in this case, the video's transcript. To generate the podcast, just go to the audio overview section and click on generate. After some minutes, Notebook LM will generate an engaging audio discussion between two AI-generated hosts. The discussion is a summary of the material with some extra information that will help you deep dive into the topic and even learn new things. And as I mentioned before, you can use Notebook LM for more than learning to code. You can use it to learn math, statistics, or any technical subject that you're learning right now. All right, that's it for this video. Now, let me know in the comment section if you know any other AI tool that will be useful for learning Python. And I'll see you on the next video.